Hey guys, Jake from 8020 Media here. Today we're going to be doing a video on the most common problems with Ford's V10 Triton engine. The V10 Triton is a 6.8 liter gas engine that was initially released in 1997 and was used all the way up until 2019. It was predominantly used in the F250 and F350 Super Duty trucks, however it was also used in the Excursion back in the early 2000s and it's also a popular engine for motorhomes as well as Ford's E-Series vans and then some of their larger F450 and F650, 750 trucks and up. It was the gas alternative to the Power Stroke engine for some 20 years. Um, it's essentially a comparable engine from a towing perspective. Um, however, it offered a lot less fuel economy, um, but it was significantly cheaper. I think the tune of about $10,000 cheaper than going with a diesel option. In 2005, the engine was redesigned. It was switched from a two valve to a three valve design. However, the rest of the engine remained relatively similar. Um, additionally, this is a very similar engine to Ford's 4.8 and 5.4 liter Triton V8 engines as well. So jumping into common problems with the V10 Triton, the most prominent one and probably the most talked about one online is the issue with spark plug blowout. This issue was mostly a 2002 and earlier issue. So the issue with the Triton spark plugs is that they're really short in comparison to a traditional spark plug. And so Ford only put four threads around the spark plug that actually secure it in the cylinder and a traditional spark plug usually has about 10 to 12 threads on it. So when you think about it, it really doesn't have a whole lot that's keeping it in its place. And so what happens is, and this is kind of separate from the thread issue, but what happens is the heat actually causes the spark plug metal to melt a little bit and essentially weld itself in place. And then because there's not a whole lot holding the spark plug in there, it can actually completely blow out and blow through the cylinder head. And so when this happens, it causes some pretty significant damage, completely takes out the head. You'll have to remachine the spark plug holes. Um, there are some fixes to put some newer sleeves in there and a way to actually use longer spark plugs. However, this was fixed in 2003. I say that kind of lightly in the sense that we have seen some issues with 2005, 2006, and even all the way up to 2008 models having spark plug blowout issues. So this is by far one of the most common problems with these engines. However, it was predominantly confined from 1997 to 2002 and maybe a few kind of one-off cases from 2003 to 2008. The second most common problem is with the PCV hose. Um, the PCV hose mostly just cracks. Um, it's not a huge issue, but this causes the intake manifold to lose pressure and essentially creates an air leak or a vacuum leak within the intake system. And so you'll notice a number of performance related issues like misfires, rough idling, kind of sluggishness, lack of acceleration. Fortunately, this is a very easy DIY. It's a pretty inexpensive repair as well. So it is a very common issue. However, not one that really causes a whole lot of concern from a reliability or engine longevity perspective. Same thing with the third common problem, which is exhaust manifold bolt failure. Uh, the exhaust manifold bolts are known to rust out. When they rust out, they can either break off or cause an exhaust leak within the exhaust manifold. Um, again, doesn't really cause any issues outside of a number of, you know, kind of minor performance issues such as misfires. And you'll likely notice a louder exhaust note. You might smell some exhaust fumes in the cab of your truck. Um, however, all you really need to do is replace the bolts on it. Um, so again, not a huge issue here. The fourth common problem is with the timing chain. This, in my opinion, is a little bit more common of a problem for the V8 Tritons. So with the timing chain, the major problem is that the timing chain tensioner 
ultimately results in slack uh, within the timing chain. And then that causes a number of issues with the timing chain components like the plastic guides, those can break. The most common kind of symptom of this is a loud kind of tapping or knocking noise coming and it's most noticeable at idle. The timing chain on these engines is typically good for about 150,000 miles. Um, however, once you get to the 100, you know, kind of 125,000 mile mark, that's probably when you should be a little bit more aware of the problem. Um, just try to, you know, keep an ear out for any tapping or knocking noises from idle. It should be pretty loud and pretty easy to pick up. However, like I said, I don't think it's the most common thing on these V10s, but with that being said, it does have the same time and chain system as some of the V8s do, and the V8s have a lot more time and chain issues, and so the V10s certainly aren't in the clear here. And of course, issues with the timing chain can cause timing to be thrown off and in, you know, certain instances can cause a lot of internal engine damage. And so making sure you keep up with maintenance on the timing chain is definitely um, an important thing on these V10s. The fifth common problem, um, again, something that I'm going to note, but it's really not that common of a problem, is fuel pump failure. Most of the fuel pump failure that we see occurs, you know, in the 200,000 plus mile range. And so once you get to those mileage levels, I, I really don't consider it a common problem. It's more of a maintenance item at that point. However, the fuel pumps are known to fail. And then the last thing that's not really a problem, but in a way is, is the fuel economy. Uh, the V10 Triton is going to get 8 to 10 miles per gallon when you're not towing anything. Maybe you can get 12 miles per gallon if you do a lot of highway driving and if you're very light on the throttle, but it gets very poor fuel economy, especially when you're towing. And it certainly gets less fuel economy and worse gas mileage than the diesel engines do. And so while these gas engines are typically cheaper than the diesels are, um, it probably in a way balances out from fuel mileage if you drive these things a lot. So that wraps it up for the common problems on the 6.8 Triton V10. For the most part, these are extremely reliable engines. Um, really the only main thing to keep an eye out for is for the spark plug blowout. However, you know, like I said, this was predominantly early 2000s and, and 1990s problem. A number of these engines today have had a fix to them to where they've rebored out the spark plug holes and been able to fit a longer spark plug in there. But really that's the only kind of thing to keep, keep an eye out for. Um, if you're looking at a higher mileage one or yours is higher mileage, just keep an eye out for the timing chain. It's not a bad idea um, if you're ever around the area of the timing chain to take a look and make sure the tension's still good on it. But at the end of the day, extremely reliable engines. Um, they're, they're great workhorses. The newer engines do seem to be a bit more reliable just since they don't have some of the issues like spark plug blowout and additionally the timing chain issues seem to mostly be until around 2013 so ones after that seem to be good but very strong engine no reliability concerns from us so it gets a very good above average reliability rating thanks for watching this video if you appreciate the content that we put out we'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel liked this video, and as always, if you're looking for additional information on the Triton V10 or want to recap any of the problems we talked about, uh, we wrote an article about this on our dieseliq.com website, which is linked below.